Today I'm going to do another 3D project for you but this one is going to be using my Cricut. So we're going to start off um, by moving the bear um, by using tags, bags, boxes and more and the project that I'm doing is this little bag here which is on page 118. Okay, so I'm going to start with the red and I'm going to put a 12 by 12 piece of really shimmery cardstock. It's this one here. Now, what I want to do though is make it as big as I possibly can to fit on here. So I'm going to hit my fit to page button, which is up here. And then the Cricut will calculate for me the biggest possible size that this or any design that you happen to be picking at the time that you've hit the fit to page will fit on that piece of paper. So we're going to hit our button here, which is our purse two. And now I want it with the holes, so I'm actually going to clear that display because the one with the hole option is well, it's normally what we would call shift, but it's actually called hole option here. So hole option and then that button there. Okay, so then we're going to hit cut. Oh, I've just checked my blade is at six and my pressure is at max because it's quite heavy cardstock. And then we'll hit cut and the Cricut will work out the size. Now it's saying it's going to be seven inches. Okay, so there it goes. Okay, so that's the purse cut. Okay, so now I'm going to change my cartridge because I want to cut out a little um, some flowers. So I'm just going to turn my Cricut off. I'm going to take my tags, bags, boxes and more out. So I'm going to put my mini monograms on, um, overlay on, and then I'm going to put the mini monograms cartridge in and switch the machine back on. Now, if you go to page 121 on mini monograms, there's this sort of little flower there which I thought was quite sweet so I'm going to cut that out using this really nice glitter red glitter paper so then we'll unload our mat and what we've got is then a slightly smaller flower as well so we've got the two sizes if I turn that round just so you can see the opposite side just so you can see the sizes so we've got the two sizes and my plan was that to layer it up and in life it, you can see the difference a lot better and then put a jewel or something in the middle all right okay so now we're going to go off to our table so we're now back at the table i've got my martha stewart scoreboard and we're just going to score along the lines now cricket very kindly gives you little score marks so you know where to to score so i'm just going to start scoring along those lines now and it's just a case of kind of making sure that you're on the right bit all the time so I've scored all along those lines and then I folded them and just run my bone folder down them just to give them a nice sharp crease. So as you can see if we sort of just kind of just pop this together a little bit. But the little purse is going to look like so. Okay, and then this hole's in the top for the ribbons. So I'm going to put away my scoreboard to one side. And, oh, noisy. And then I'm going to start sticking this together actually before I do no I won't that's fine I was gonna say before I do that I'll put the ribbon on but I won't so I'm just gonna work out which bits need adhesive on because what I've done in the past is put the adhesive on the wrong section and it's really annoying yep okay so where I need the adhesive is on that thin piece there and on that little piece is there so it's not very much so you can either use your nice red tape that's lovely and strong or I'm going to just use my ATG that was kindly given to me. And I just slightly went over there, so I'm just going to push that over. And then put some on here as well. I'm not sure I've reloaded this properly, to be honest. It's not... my best effort I don't think okay 
Okay, put the ATG down and then get these pieces. I'm going to just stick that like that and that one down like so, just so that those two are starting to stick together, although they're sticking to me more than anything. And then take these edges and line that one up nicely to the box, like so. And then just go inside and make sure it's pressed firmly down and then do the other side exactly the same. And then again, just go inside this one I've just missed it a bit there we go okay and then we've got our little front flap so next I'm gonna get some ribbon okay and I've got this piece of ribbon that I'm just gonna use this is just a nice piece of silk ribbon which I'm just gonna poke through I'm actually going to do this slightly differently to what I was originally going to do. So I'm just going to take a piece, not too long, just snip it off, put it back to one side, and then I'm going to poke it through actually this way. And poke it through here, because I actually don't want a handle to be honest, so we're just going to do like a really sweet little bow on the top. Well, that's the plan anyway. I'm just rubbish at doing bows, especially when the camera's in the way. <laughs> Where's he gone? There it is. <laughs> And we just move it over very slightly, just twist it wrong way. <laughs> it's always the way, isn't it? If you go one way, it should have been the other. There we go. I'm trying to do is get it in the middle. There we go. And then we're just going to snip off that excess, like so. So we've just got a pretty little bow at the top there, and then we'll just throw those little pieces away. All right, now the next thing I want to do is put some of this tape around my um, actual box, just as a little extra embellishment. So we're just going to... It looks like I need to do each side at a time to make sure that the... pieces match up because of the angle of the box. So I just want to make sure it levels like so and then we'll just snip along and the same again on this side. Okay so that's that all around there and I think that just gives it a little something extra on the box. What I'm trying to do is keep it very um, all in the same colour because I think um, that will give it a really nice look. So the next thing I'm going to do is add these little magnets just to um, act as a clasp. Now you can buy these. These ones are paper mania magnetic clasps and they've got A's and B's on them so you know which goes with what. So what you do is you take one of them and you take off the, the letter and you stick it down. Now I'm personally going to stick it on the lid because I know where I want it on this part. And then you stick that down nice and firmly. Then that was a B so we need an A. So then you get the A and you take again the sticky off but this time you let it magnetise to itself. And then you close your box you give it a good press but now what you've got is a really nice magnetic clasp so it holds that little box together really prettily and then you've still got your nice holographic film showing okay so then the last part of this that we need to do 
is the decoration of our with our flowers and I have got a really nice gem as well and I'm just going to decide whether I want the flowers as well or not because I can always use them for something else and I personally think it looks better without so I'm going to do the less is more although how you can call that gem a less and, but I don't know but anyway so we're going to just put that one on now that is a pretty big gem so in order to make sure that sticks we are going to use my pin flare glue or you can use silicone glue and I'm going to do oh sorry guys a big blob on the back of my gem so it's really going to stick now obviously because this is now a wet glue you're going to need to make sure that you leave it alone and also don't forget don't overlap your opening here because you don't want to stick your gem half on the box and half on your opening because when you try to open the box later it won't which isn't hugely helpful okay so that's another 3d project made using the Cricut this time and I will look forward to seeing all of your projects thanks for watching and bye Bye.